Hello everyone, I am Duke James. This is the continuation of my Heathenous Ways campaign in Crusader Kings 2. So my main goal, I got two goals. One is to pass the Kingdom of Sweden onto my child, which I'd have to change the succession laws in order to do that. And the second one is to hold on to it until that happens. Uh, I could bribe a bunch of people. There's a couple of people that hate me. This guy hates me. This guy hates me. This guy is, doesn't exactly hate me. This guy... One of these guys. This guy hates me because I tried to murder him. This guy is okay with me for the most part. This guy, despite being Norse, he... Uh, doesn't... We want a seat on the council. There you go, there's your council seat. Now go... Go to Constantinople. Study. Study technology. So that takes care of that guy. This guy's on the council. I gave out some honorary titles. Uh, who else is there? This guy. He can become a marshal. Or can he? What is he? Is he already... Is he already something? Is that Sven? That is Sven. Okay, so he's an advisor. He's actually a better... He's a better marshal than advisor. So I'll switch him to Marshall. That'll free up that advisor slot to somebody else, and also improves my Marshall. Yeah, this guy doesn't need to be, uh... Although he likes me, so that's good, but, uh... He, uh... I need that slot for somebody else. I don't think I'm going to make these two guys amicable to me. This guy's pretty weak. And he's in jail. Elector title held, usurped title, title Clement. Can I... I can't make him change religion. Not until I reform. I need, what, 50? Moral authority must be 50%. I think there's something that you can do to improve authority, like you raise a totem, something like that. It should raise authority, so I'll probably have to lean heavily on that. Or just do a bunch of holy wars against... people. This guy will accept vassalization. Everybody Suomensky. Suomensko? Suomensko? I don't know. Uh, so I can't really do a holy war on them. These guys are... Pagan Slavics. They have a lot of troops, though. And I can't do Holy Wars. For some reason. Is that because I'm... Oh, you know what? I was thinking, uh, Subjugate. But I'm not Pagan, I'm Feudal. So I can't do Subjugation Wars. Whoops. I should be able to do Holy Wars, though. Anyway... So he hates me because I 
declared war on him, and I usurped Soderman land. I think he's, uh... He's within a uh, poison poisoning distance. I should watch out for that. And this guy's in the oublette, so yeah, you should uh should be very careful. Maybe I should just kill this guy first. I'll do that. He should die rather quickly. Hopefully it's not found out. If it's found out, his son is going to hate me. If it's not found out, his son should not hate me. So there's three people voting for the guy in jail. I'm gonna murder that guy. Nobody's really ever gonna vote for my kid. I have a weak claim. Hmm. My courtier has weak claims in both Kingdom Nor and Denmark. And this guy has 800 troops. So. Can't give her a title. Plus, she wouldn't become she wouldn't become my vassal anyway because that's a kingdom level title. And I don't have any sons, so I can't have them marry. Damn it! So if I had a son, I could have him. I could have her betrothed her child to my son. She would become king of Norway. She's Christian as well, so I don't think she would do that anyway. I'm gonna have this guy proselytize, because I think that's the only way I can really convert people. So she's Catholic, unfortunately. Her kids are Catholic, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. And I can't switch to this anyway because it's, I'm an unreformed pagan. Damn it. So I'm gonna lose the title Kingdom of Sweden anyway. Hmm. Because I can only do elective gavel kind, and the plot was revealed. Damn it, the guy's in jail. Yeah, yay, it worked, and now the guy hates me. His son hates me because it was found out. Damn it. I should duel him. I'm gonna duel you. Forty-eight year old?
I'm wondering... Maybe I should have tried to go independent instead? I could release these guys? So I could release all of these vassals and then attack them to get them back I'm gonna release this dude I think that's the easiest thing to do, because then I could just request. I could launch a war to get that back. And they're really not going to give me any troops anyway. Sixteen hundred vassal troops. I need to get the territories back and then give them to pagans. This guy's pagan. This guy's not pagan. Since he is a tribal barbarian, our vassals will not object. So I'm going to revoke this guy's titles. And then give them, give them to a pagan, so that converts that county from Christian to pagan. And I'll give him the... Do I not have the duchy? It actually destroyed the duchy. Okay. So pagan, pagan, pagan. Catholic. Pagan. Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. So I have... Three Catholic vassals now. Since he is a tribal barbarian, our vassals will not object, so I can revoke his title as well. Revoke that guy's title. says maybe, so he might rise up. He accepted, perfect. My religion. Let's go ahead and fight a holy man. You can take the tribe of Housingland. Alright, so that just leaves three Catholic vassals now. Because pagan, 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 pagan. I'm pagan, this guy's pagan. This guy's free. For now. Well, look at this. And Varanuat. Health negative one. Beautiful golden ring seems to make wealth flood to its owner, though all no and Vari's curse draws ever closer. National tax modifier plus 20%. I would take this. This is like a good, uh, this is a good relic to have. 
when you're near the end game. Because by that point, you should have a couple of relics that give you health. There's a book. I think there's a couple books that give health. So that could uh, offset it. And National Tax Modifier plus 20% is huge. Plus Stewardship plus 4 is huge. I kind of want to take it just because... Uh, just to have it. I don't have to wear it. Actually, that's a good idea. I should be able to raid now. Yes, I can raid. So I should raid that guy. And he can't do anything because... He only has one county. I should also raid this woman. For this. Sampo. Those are two level 5 relics. Quality 5 relics. In raiding distance. Let's get everybody down there. So he still hates me, he still hates me. Give him a gift, he doesn't hate me anymore. So everybody is voting for themselves. So if I were to die now, my daughter would take over. It's actually not the worst thing ever if that were to happen, because, you know, she'd get all the titles and she'd become queen. So actually... Can I die? Can I kill myself? I need to become depressed. Or I could rule... That's not what I want. I could uh, make myself lead this. It's a lot of troops over there. 1,500 men. Whoops, can't get them back. Wow, this is, uh, this is perfect. A bird cries out and I wake up. I hear men roaring in the distance. Why am I on the ground staring at the sky? I, I cannot move. Is this how King Eric the heathen leaves the world? Go with Odin, comes the ragged voice of a wounded soldier next to me. Tell that that I love. Well, okay, so the only thing is I hope you don't have this be Eric the heathen to get this achievement, because if you do have to be Eric the Heathen, then I just failed. I feel like it's a little bit impossible to reform Germanic in this guy's lifetime, unless he lives to be like 80. So, the achievement uh, description, I'm going to look it up. Just says starting as Eric the Heathen become ruler of Sweden while member of the reformed. Let me see. Here we go. Starting as Eric the Heathen rule the kingdom. See, it doesn't. It says starting as Eric the Heathen in 1066 rule the kingdom of Sweden when with the Reformed Germanic faith. It doesn't say rule the kingdom of Sweden as him. So I'm go, I'm operating under the assumption that I don't have to be Eric. Eric the Heathen. I could be a descendant of Eric the Heathen. It just says starting as Eric the Heathen. But anyway, I'm gonna die. So. I lost this battle. Retreat. Fall back. Alright, there are a lot of 
factions. Pretty much everybody. So I could either give out a bunch of gifts or just uh, accept. Accept the uh, revolt and then try to. Well, I guess I'll make her. Even though she's not. Her kids aren't of my dynasty. Alright, hopefully I don't die. Yeah, you can go there. You hate me though. can go there. This guy would make a better marshal, but uh, I'll put him on economic stuff. So these guys like me. Those two like me up there. A gift isn't guaranteed to make them not rebel against me. And these guys don't really accept many gifts, so... Looks like it's increased council power. Pretty much, those guys down south. Let's give out a bunch of titles. Don't rebel, please. Have those guys stand down. And uh, let's shut the gates so I don't fail. Do I have a court physician? Yes. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can get some uh, some retinues. Let's do huskarls. Shit. Okay. They want... it's pretty much everybody. Like the time that I started the game, I might as well just fight it. Because all that's going to happen is uh, it's just the power of the council increases if I lose. Uh, 
Mercs. Should probably go for Mercs. This guy has 171 troops. It's not very efficient. 2 gold for 171 troops versus 10 gold for 1500. There's no seven seven gold guy. Cause I like that seven gold guy. If I now hire these guys. All right, I'm not going to fight this in this part. I will fight it in the next part. So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.